Hey guys. Hi. Let me make sure my sound is up. Ah, oh, there we go. What's going on? So, um, you guys, I wanted to pop on here because there are a lot of rumors circling around out there and I just wanted to be clear on, a, oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you guys. Um, so anyway, I wanted to clear up some of the rumors that are kind of circulating out there. Um, I, I, you know, it, I've been, you know, <laughs> I have the tendency. So ever since I left the show, I have always answered fan questions and I've always, you know, answered it on my social media. You know, usually my, I would say my Instagram, I talk the most, you know, I, I give the most on there. And, um, you know, people always ask me questions and every once in a while I share how I feel. And, um, sorry, I was just running, chasing the dog, trying to get the dog back into the other room. So I'm out of breath. Um, so anyway, um, oh, thank you guys. I'm trying to read this and talk to you guys at the same time. Okay. So anyway, I wanted to clear up a lot of rumors that are out there. Um, so anyway, I have been speaking on behalf of cast members since I left the show. This is nothing new. Um, every time a fan asks me a question, I usually respond. Sometimes it's in a DM, sometimes it's on my page, but it's never really been picked up and like put out there like everywhere, like it has been lately. So, and I think the reason that it got picked up and spread around is because the their show is airing right now. So I think it became relevant because I guess, you know, Teresa and Melissa are fighting and their show is airing. So they took a comment from what I had put on my wall in my Instagram and put it out in the universe, which is fine because I've been talking on podcasts about how I feel for years. So I don't really care because whatever I say, I don't mind putting it out there. I always do that. So some of you are sweating me thinking that I'm, <laughs> some of you are like hoping that I'll come back to the show and others are like sweating it. Like they're like, oh my God, is she trying to come back to the show? Um, no, I will clear that up right now. I have no desire to ever do another housewife show again, whether it's in New Jersey, whether it's in Las Vegas, whether it's in Orange County, that part of my life is done. I have moved on from the housewives of New Jersey and any kind of housewife show. So I know everybody thinks that I'm like trying to angle to get back on the show and that is not the case at all. I have no desire. I am at a total different place in my life. I have no desire to be on the show. I'm sorry. I'm sorry some of you that are disappointed with that. But <laughs> but um, I know some of you are disappointed and some of you are you know, glad that I'm not trying to get back. Um, I have been questioned about the Ultimate Girls trip as well. And as much as that, you know, seven days or whatever it is away, I could handle seven days of my life on a trip with a bunch of girls. That would be fun. However, I cannot do that. Only because, you know, I have a son with special needs. I don't have someone to care for my son for a week while I go on a girls trip. It's just not doable for me at the moment. Um, so as much as that sounds fun, I can't do that. I don't have that kind of coverage for my son at this time. So, you know, I'm sorry to disappoint some of you about that, but, um, you know, I wanted to definitely set the, the record straight on that too. Um, so anyway, and yes, you know, Teresa and I made up and I've been talking openly about that because a lot of people took interest to it. And so I'm just a answering questions whenever, if I'm on a podcast or whatever, and people are asking me questions, I'm going to answer it. Honestly, that's just who I am. So those of you that appreciate it, thank you. Those of you that are like sweating that I'm getting so much attention. I'm so sorry you feel that way. That's too bad. So anyway, um, so that's that. And, uh, what question I'm trying to, I'm trying to see what else. Was there something else I had to clear up? But my comments about Melissa are not something new that I all of a sudden I started saying. I've been, people that follow me and follow me, you know, since I've left the show, know I've always talked about her and about how I feel. So anyway, so um, people want to know why I would be friends with Teresa. Um, you know what it is? We were friends seven years before the show began. 
And the show, when you're on a show like that, it's so toxic. And, you know, people are in your ear, whether it's the producers, sometimes it's the fans, sometimes it's cast members on the show, whatever it is, it's very hard to maintain a, a sincere, real friendship when you're on a show like that. And I know the other housewives understand when I say that because it is really hard because they're always looking for the next argument, the next problem, you know, and things like that. So, um, you know, so I think that when she reached out to me, we both just sort of agreed that, you know, us going after each other and, you know, it happened at a time in our lives where, you know, we were both under a lot of stress and a lot of people in our ears and it was just a very toxic time in both our lives that, you know, we just want to kind of pretend like none of that existed. And because I'm away from the show now and I don't have to go back to it and I'm not going back to it, it's just easier to maintain a friendship because we once had a very close friendship before the show. So now that the show is done, it, we're able to maintain a friendship. She lives in New Jersey. I'm moving to Orange County. You know, um, how often will we see each other? I don't know. But I'm very happy that, you know, we put that past behind us and we are able to like forgive and move on from those like yucky times. So, you know, we had a real friendship before the show. It wasn't, she wasn't a show friend. She wasn't, you know, whatever. So she was a, you know, good friend before the show. So I think that's why it was able to, you know, so easy to just let it go after so much time. You know, had she reached out right after season seven, there's probably no way, <laughs> you know, but over time you just sort of like, you don't care about that stuff anymore. I think we're both at a really happy place in our lives and you know, we're doing well. And I just feel like we're in a better place and able to forgive and move on from things in the past that were, you know, yucky. So I think, you know, I think now, you know, it's different because we don't live in the same state, but no, I'm not going on the Housewives of Orange County. <laughs> you guys keep asking me. I'm not, I'm not. You know, if Tamara has a big party and I want to sneak in the background, maybe they'll blur me. You'll see my blurred face in the background. Maybe I'm, I will not go. I do not want to be a housewife of any franchise. So I'm sorry. So, um, it is raining here. It was pouring rain. It almost sounded like hail. So crazy. But um, I am in contact with some of the RHOC girls. I'm actually power watching RHOC right now from the beginning. I'm on season eight now, so I haven't seen the rest yet because I'm trying to see where they all shop and dine and things like that. And every time I see a cool restaurant they're at, I like write it down and then I look it up. And most of them are like not even in business anymore. It's so sad. But, um, you know, I'm trying to, you know, get to know the people in the area and things before I move out there. So, um, yeah, my husband opened a bigger office out there and, you know, he's trying to get, you know, it's really hard to find like good designers in that are like in Las Vegas. So they're all sort of working remotely from different states and, you know, different talent from different states that he uses. So. Um, it's just easier when everybody's under one roof. So he has an office in California. He's got an office in New York. And so, you know, we choose California. It's close, still close to my family. You know, I live like 20 minutes from my parents. I live about 25 minutes from both of my brothers. Um, I, my cousins live five minutes away. So I'm sad to move here. You know, I love it here so much, but um, it's a quick flight to come visit everybody here. And, um, you know, I'm sad, but you know what? The Orange County is beautiful. We go to Newport all the time. We go to Laguna Beach. And, you know, I'm pretty familiar with the area. I have cousins in Palos Verdes Estates. So I know I'm gonna like the area. So so I, I'll be moving to Orange County this summer. So um, anyway, so that's that. Oh, from Australia, take me there. Thank you guys. Um, yeah, I am sad I'm gonna move away from Vegas. But you know what, I'm an army brat. I've moved around my entire life um, and I, I know it'll, I'll be fine. You know, thank God for FaceTime. Thank God it's a, um, a close trip to come visit. So um, anyway, 
we're getting ready. My, we're going to going out tonight. So that's why I have some makeup on in my hair. So, <laughs> so, um, so no, I don't want to be involved in any shows. So, you know, for the people saying that I'm trying to get back on the show, that's a complete lie because I'm not. Hello, Jess. <laughs> um, Nicholas is good. Um, I know I got to find all new services and, you know, things for Nicholas out in Orange County. So if you guys know of really good services for autism, please DM me. I'm looking into different things now. Um, good podcast with Carlos. Oh, thank you. Carlos was trying to interview me for seriously like three or four months. And I, I finally did it for him because I knew he'd want to get the story of Teresa and I talking. So, because he was really pushing for that friendship. So I wanted him to know that, you know, we did and whatever. And I, so I did his. And, um, so, um, what else? Um, yes, I keep in touch with Caroline. Um, yes, I still talk to Kathy, with Keely. Um, yeah, and that's what's really weird. They just, Melissa was just saying that she ditched Kathy for Teresa, but that's not what she said. She, she was blaming Kathy for the reason they weren't speaking anymore, which wasn't the true reason in the first place. And now she's finally admitting she dumped her, but it wasn't really for Teresa. It was for other reasons, and I will let you guys figure that out. Um, but, um, yeah, Kathy is innocent. Thank you. Um, so let's see. Let Buffalo. Hi. So, um, oh yeah, they did throw her under the bus for no reason. Anyway. Um, so Rosie, I haven't talked to in so long. I've always loved her. Um, Ashley is doing great. My grandson, Cameron, who calls me Glamma Kisses, or he calls me Kiss. He's like, hi, Kiss. We FaceTime every day. He's like the cutest thing. I have to spoil him from afar. I hate living so far away from him. You know, they've been here to visit a few times, and, um, you know, we talk all the time on the phone, but it's not the same. I wish he was with me. When he comes to see me, I'll take him to Disneyland. Um, I have spoken to Kim D. Yes, she was like one of the first people that reached out to me after I talked to Teresa. She wanted all the deets. Um, she's actually asking me to go on the podca a podcast with her. So I might do that soon. Um, so, <laughs> um, have I talked to Teresa since the lunch? We oh, yeah, yeah. We've been texting and it's like no time has passed. You know, and um, you know what's so funny too? Everybody thinks like we got together and talked all all this stuff about Melissa. In our original meeting, we talked about Melissa for like two seconds, and then went on to talk about more important things or more interesting conversation. You know, like our families. We talked about our children, and you know, just a lot of catching up. And that's why it just seemed like the time went by so fast, and it just. I didn't even know five hours went by. Chris had to tell us five hours had gone by. I had no idea because it was just, blah, 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 you know, just talking about life and, you know, our futures and things like that. Do I get paid for going on podcasts? No. Most po po podcasts, no. You don't get paid for that. There's a there's a couple um, that I've done in the past. They do pay, but any I've done recently, no. No, you don't get paid for that. Absolutely not. Um. So, yeah, I don't need the money, guys. Trust me. I don't need the money. So that's not an angle for me. Okay. Um, see, you guys are moving fast. Um, would I do a podcast? Well, you know what? I used to have a podcast. And I stopped doing it when we went into quarantine, which most people would be like, that's the best time to do a podcast in quarantine because you're home bored. But for me, it was the opposite. I could not do my podcast during quarantine because... My kids were home and with Nicholas being home, I would get interrupted too many times. He's very loud sometimes. So I just stopped doing the podcast when quarantine and we just never picked it back up again. But it was so much fun. I really enjoyed doing it. 
Um, would I do it again? I mean, I mean, maybe, but the problem is um, I'm now homeschooling Nicholas. Um, I had to pull him out of the school system. He was having a ton of anxiety going to school. And so I pulled him out and now he's being homeschooled and then I have people come to the house to work with him as well. So a lot of my day is taken up with that. And then, you know, so it, I don't know if I could go back to doing a podcast or not. So, um, um, Siggy and I have been in touch through Instagram sometimes. Yeah. Um, and, um, why, why did I move New Jersey? Um, because my husband had an opportunity to get back into the garment industry that he'd been in since he was 17 years old and come back in a big way. And his brother, who's a partner of his, lives in Las Vegas. And then he had some partners in California as well. So we could move to Vegas or California, um, you know, for him to do it. But because I had so much family here, um, I wanted to come to Vegas and his brother lived here too. So we moved to Vegas. Um, yeah, we came, we, um, we moved into a fully furnished house that we were renting and, um, yeah. And that was the other thing people, you know, were saying about me selling my furniture and stuff like that. Well, that furniture we'd had for 18 years and we moved into a fully furnished house. So I, you know, people talk and whatever, but nobody knows the real story. So Anyway, um, are you continuing homeschooling Nick once you move to the OC? You know what? I don't know. I'm going to check out the school systems there. I'm going to see how he does, um, see what he, you know, I'm going to see how he does. And and um, if he does well, then, you know, I'm a little nervous putting him into high school, to be honest with you. I'm really worried about bullying and things like that. So I might um, keep him homeschooled. I don't know. We'll see. Whatever's best for Nick is what I'm going to do. Um, so, um, does, did Chris get to speak to Joe Judice? No, Chris, um, Chris doesn't have a problem with anybody and he would talk to Joe Judice. He just hasn't in years. Um, let's see. Do I think it's messed up how Melissa got on the show? Well, yeah. I mean, <laughs> I wasn't the one bringing up this topic, by the way. People are asking me what happened there and I answer the question I'm not the one bringing it up okay <laughs> like I could care less but you know I just answer the truth sorry that's how I that's how I roll um yeah it is a little messed up to be honest with you um no does Joey Gorga talk to Chris no um how did I meet Teresa so long ago? So when I first moved to, well, actually I shouldn't tell this story. You know why? Um, I did a podcast recently and they're going to tell that whole story of how Teresa and I first met and that whole story. So I'm going to save that for that podcast. And when it comes out, um, I'll post it and then you guys can listen to it. Okay. Um, so let's see, you guys are moving so fast. It's hard for me to read what you guys are saying. Um, do you need, eh. um, what's your question? Would I work with Dan? No, 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 I would not. So, um, famous table flip classic moment by Teresa. <laughs> um, so, um, oh my God, you guys are moving so fast. Do I miss living in New Jersey? No, I mean, you know what? I miss the four seasons are nice. Like I love the fall time in New Jersey. Um, and it's nice to look out the window and see snow, but I, I don't need that in my life every day. Um, but as far as, you know, like where I would rather live, I would definitely rather live here than New Jersey, you know? Um, so let's see. Um, I've answered some of these questions you guys are asking me. So if you review that, watch this again, you'll get some of your answers. Um, no, I only have one grandbaby and that's my Cameron. Um, do I get along with Margaret Joseph? I've never met her in person. Um, you know, I think we've messaged a few times. I've never met her in person, but I think she's a great addition to the show. She's funny. 
um, from what I've seen. So I I haven't watched the show since I left except for the reunions. I watch the reunions because they're a recap. And, and then if there's a good episode, like somebody will say like, oh, you need to watch this. I've watched some like random ones, you know, um, here and there. But this is the first season I'm watching. I'm, I'm going to watch this season just because there's new people. I kind of want to see what all that talk has been about. So yeah, I'm going to watch this season. Um, so what else? But Chris is doing amazing. Yes, very good. Um, yeah. I'm like, I can't read this, you guys, slow down. Um, so right now, Chris is in our bar area and he's going over some, um, I don't know. I think he's doing some work before we have to leave to go out tonight. So I'm in here and he's out there. Is BLK water still around? Yes, it is. It is out in a big way. BLK is still alive, guys. You know, um, it is still alive. Yeah, I think they are now based out of Calabasas. Um, it's all over TikTok. Yeah, so yeah, that's sometimes that's what my husband does. He bu he builds up brands and then he sells them or he you know makes his money, gets out, whatever. But um. You know, I'm proud that it's still, um, the brand is still out there and, you know, doing well. Um, let's see. Um, make Chris come say hi before I leave. Honey, if you're watching, oh, he can't hear me. It's literally on the other side of the house. Like this, I'm like, I'm literally on one side of the house. He's on the other. And it's about 5,700 square feet or something. <laughs> so I'm sorry. Chris! Oh, there he is. You're so lucky to have Chris. How did you, how did you, what did you say? Wait, how did you get so lucky? Chris, Chris is commenting on here, you guys. He's watching from the other room. Did you see him? <laughs> did you, Chris, comment again. He's so funny. Um, oh my gosh, thank you. Oh, Chris is in the comments. <laughs> Um, yeah, Dolores and I keep in touch once in a while, not that often cause she's busy and you know, I know how it is when you're filming a show, when you're like engaged in that world, you're, if you're not filming the show, you're doing, you know, all your stuff you have to do for the show. So like, we'll check in once in a while, but you know, it's not like it used to be for sure. Um, yeah, I know Chris is funny. He's so funny. Um, look at Chris. She's obsessed with me. You're so funny. You're the one stalking me, honey. <laughs> thank you. Um, well, thank you. I appreciate that. Um, so Nick is in the eighth grade right now. He'll start high school next year. Can you believe it? He just passed me in height. I mean, I'm only 5'3", but he, he just passed me, Nicholas. It's weird. It's weird having kids that are bigger than me now. His feet are bigger than me. Um, have I had plastic surgery? No, but you know what? I'm going to do, because remember on the show I did a tummy tuck and my neck? I have to do my neck again. It's totally falling. I would love a Facebook. I've been asking, I mean, a, a facelift. I've been telling Chris, like, I really want to get a facelift. Um, I would like that. <laughs> but um, I haven't gotten one yet. Um, Chris, they want to see you on camera. Would you come on? Would you come on camera? <laughs> Chris, will you say hi? I, I would love a neck lift. Look, so I'm, I'm getting this stuff. And I got a little bit of this going on, but, you know, I'm going to be 53 this year. You know, it happens. But uh, I'll keep fighting it. <laughs> um, hi, Megan from Ohio. Uh, well, thank you. Thank you. You guys are so sweet. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Um, oh, Amber. Oh, yeah. I've kept in touch with Amber here and there, too. Uh-huh. Um, did I miss my... Uh -huh. Wait. Oh. So, uh, that moved too fast. But the, the story of how Teresa and I met um, will be on an upcoming podcast that I'll let you guys know. Um, yeah, I'll be 53 in April. Yeah, that's true. Me. Um, whatever. It happens. Um, let's see, North Carolina, um, ah, well, thank you. I'm reading your comments, I should, um, Florida, nice. Um, so, 
when am I moving to those? Um, the end of June. I'm moving the end of June. Um, are Teresa and I hanging out again? Well, I can't hang out right because she lives in New Jersey and I live over here. <laughs> so, well, you're April 11th, baby. I'm April 26th. Yeah. Um, uh, oh, thank you. Washington State. Ah, April 29th. Nice. Yes, Taurus. You know what's so funny? When I when we went to lunch with Teresa, we realized that we're all Tauruses. Chris is a Taurus. Louis is a Taurus. Teresa is a Taurus, and I'm a Taurus. <laughs> Isn't that so funny? Yeah. So, um, uh, which film? Ah, you guys are going too fast. Um, what else? Uh oh, here comes Nick. I think I have to go. <laughs> he's gonna... Diesel. Oh, Diesel's out. I would, I would hide. Nick is a. Uh... Chris, come get Nick. Um, how is my relationship with? Wait, who? Matt. Ashley's dad? Oh, I love I love um, Ashley's dad and his wife, Jody. I love them. I thought they were, they're great. Um, you know, we were married when we were kids, you know? So, you know, they're good people and they have a great family. They have beautiful boys. They're all like amazing kids. So, um, <laughs> ask Jacqueline why she was hiding a happy Twinkie in the kitchen drawer. No, you guys, this is a funny story. Should I tell that, Chris, or not? Okay, so so I eat very clean, okay? I eat very clean foods. I don't eat a lot of crap. Chris brought home Twinkies one day, and he had them on the kitchen counter, and I was just staring at them. I made a nice meal for dinner, had a nice salad, and I just kept staring at the freaking Twinkie box. And I wanted one so bad because it had been so long since I had a freaking Twinkie. And Chris decided he was gonna go outside and smoke a cigar. So I thought I would like just sneak a Twinkie real quick and he wouldn't judge me, right? <laughs> so he, I watched and waited for him to go outside. And then I like got in the Twinkie box. I started unwrapping it. I'm like, I was just about to eat it and he came back inside. So I jumped up from the kitchen counter and I opened the drawer on the counter and I threw it in and closed it really quick because I didn't want him to like see me eat this Twinkie because I was afraid he would judge me about it because I had been, you know, was eating so healthy. And <laughs> Chris came in and he goes, why did you jump up from the counter so fast and like stand over there? Did you fart or something and you don't want me to smell it? <laughs> no god i didn't fart like what are you talking about <laughs> and he's like i and then I, it made me laugh even more because then i felt really guilty but i didn't want to tell him i was hiding a twinkie from him so i started laughing even harder which made me look more guilty and i just kept laughing and he goes you did you fart you must have farted or something because why else would you be like jump up and stand to the other side of the counter and now you're like laughing and I'm like, no, I did not fart. <laughs> Cause I've never farted in front of Chris ever, just so you know. So anyway, I was like dying. So then he comes over to the side where I'm at the kitchen and I'm so scared. He's gonna try to open the drawer and see this Twinkie in the drawer. So he opens the refrigerator behind me and I'm just standing there and I'm like laughing out of guilt. And then he had to get something out of the drawer that the Twinkie was in. So I'm like standing in front of it. So I start laughing even harder and he opens the drawer. He grabs something out of the drawer, does not see the Twinkie and then closes the drawer. So now I'm laughing even harder. I can't even breathe. I'm bright red and he still thinks I farted or something. <laughs> I'm bright red laughing. And then, so I'm like, would I, do I want him to think I farted or do I want him to think like know the truth and that I was trying to sneak a Twinkie. <laughs> so I decided to tell him about the Twinkie. So I was like, I had to show him, this is why I was laughing, okay? I didn't fart, I ate a Twinkie, okay? <laughs> I was eating a Twinkie, I was hiding it from you. And anyway, <laughs> so now he just like keeps making fun of me, you know? <laughs> so anyway, that's that story. But... <laughs> That's the, the Twinkie story. Thanks, Chris. Um, 
so yes, I did end up eating the Twinkie and it was so good. I forgot how good they were. Anyway. <laughs> um, so <laughs> what else? Um, oh, thank you. You sent me info for Orange County. Great. Thank you. Appreciate that. Um, yes, Chris would have judged me. <laughs> um, how could I afford to move to the OC? Because we got money, honey. <laughs> um, do you talk to Caroline? Yeah, yeah, I keep in touch with Caroline once in a while. I do. She's not a phone person. She's not really a texting person either. So, you know, we check in, but... Um, but it's not like we sit there and talk on the phone for hours every day, you know? Um, but I, I love Caroline. Um, so anyway. <laughs> oh, yes, MJ. Yes. Yes. You're friends with my mom. I absolutely know you. Yes. I'll ask, I'll DM you about, um, information about, um, those things. So what kind of dog do I have? So, you know, T Santino passed away and now, um, CJ and his girlfriend Gia, um, got a doggy and he is a Frenchton. He's half French bulldog, half Boston Terrier. And he's like a brindle color and he's super cute. And that's CJ's puppy. So, um, okay. So what else did I answer everything? I'm going to have to go in just a little bit cause we got to be, we have dinner reservations and I want to get, um, how do I stay fit? Well, I walk uphill on a treadmill for about a half an hour a day. Chris and I go for walks around the block. It takes about an hour and 15 minutes. We live in like this um, uh, like gated golf club community and it has this big you know, area you can like walk around. It's really pretty. And so we will walk around the block. It takes about an hour and 15 minutes and it's hilly too. Um, so I do that and I like bar workouts. And I also like yoga burn booty, <laughs> if you guys have ever seen that. And sometimes I use dumbbells too, but I've been slacking on that lately. I need to pick up my game if I'm going to the OC, right? Oh my God. I don't want to be in a bathing suit. Um, I never did like that. Um, let's see. Um, uh, 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 oh, shoot. I missed that question. You guys are going fast. Um, if you just hopped on, you can always start this over from the beginning. I'll probably post it on my page. Um, so Heather Debrow, yes, yeah, so far I I do like her on the show. Um, I'm on season eight, so I'm um, you know, um, yeah, and I love I love um, Pilates too, but I haven't done Pilates in a while. I but the bar kind of uh, does both. Um, and so does Yoga Burn Booty. I think they do some plotty moves too, you know. Um, yes, CJ is moving with us. He, you know, works for his father and doing some online courses. Um, but thank you. Um, let's see. Uh, no, I'm not joining Real Housewives of Orange County. My housewife days are done, guys. I do not want to go back to that toxic world at all. At all. Um, let's see. Oh, you're welcome for answering questions. Um, I do keep in touch with some of the OC girls. Yes. So, um, <laughs> everyone's like, never say never. Um, let's see. Uh, what, what, oh my gosh, you guys are so fast. What else can I answer for you real quick? I've seriously got to go and get Nick ready. And do you think I need to, it's raining out. I don't need to do my hair again, right? It's like, it looks good. It looks fine. Um, let's see. Thank you. My favorite Housewife franchise. I don't, um, I don't know. I think I like Beverly Hills because I like to see their, you know, lifestyles, like, really nice. I like watching how people do their parties and stuff. So I like entertaining too. So, um, but thank you. I appreciate you guys have been very kind and I just wanted to clear up some of that stuff. I think I cleared up everything I wanted to clear up. No, I'm not going back to RHO and J, nor do I want to. No, I'm not going to be another, any other housewife franchise. The reason 
all, you know, this has been brought out in the press. This isn't something new that I've said about Melissa. I've talked about her since I've left the show here and there on my Instagram page or, you know, in podcasts and stuff like that in the past. Um, but I think it was picked up and put out there all of a sudden because of the show airing and it, it was relevant to whatever was going on on the show with Teresa and Melissa fighting and all that. And then when I connected with Teresa, that blew up. So um, that's the only reason that got noticed um, so much. But I've always said the same thing since I left the show. So, because I don't hold back. Anyway, um, uh, I know. And I already answered about the Ultimate Girls Trip. It, of course, a girls trip sounds fun, but it's not doable for me at this point in time because I don't have a sitter for Nicholas that I can be gone a week. It's just not doable for me. So, hey, shall we? Um, so, um, will Kathy and Teresa make peace? I mean, I hope so. I hope so. Kathy never had any ill intentions, unlike someone else towards her. Um, so, Chris, are you still on here, babe? Chris was commenting in here. <laughs> He's in the other room. Um, but I really appreciate it. I'm going to hang up now. This is, it's getting late. I just saw the time. So CJ is um, 20 right now. Um, yeah, CJ is 20. Nick is 13. All right. Um, so love you guys. I only have one grandchild. Yeah. Oh, there's Chris. Chris, say goodbye to everybody. Chris, you need to do a live and answer some questions for these people, all right? <laughs> so, yeah. Um, anyway, it was good talking to you too. I'm gonna hang up. If you wanna see what else I've said, you can watch from the um, beginning, okay? Okay, I will. I'll try to hop on and do more live videos. I'd rather talk to you guys like this anyway. Um, I, I like doing this. So it's kind of like doing a podcast, but then we, you know. All right, bye. Chris said bye. Okay. All right, bye guys. Oh wait.